Hello YouTube and welcome to our review of the Play Arts Kai Solid Snake from the video game series Metal Gear Solid. Now as my subscribers know by now, I review things like SH Figure Arts, Kamen Riders, Dragon Ball Z's, uh, Robot Damashi Gundams, and Revolt Tech figures. So I'm used to figures with great amounts of articulation. So, uh, I was kind of wary about picking up a new line with the uh, Play Arts Kai from Square Enix because I've had the normal Play Arts figures in the past like Sephiroth and Cloud from Advent Children and uh, Sephiroth, his hand broke with the first time I ever touched it and Cloud just doesn't have that great of articulation because of his clothing so I was going in this going into the, uh, this line kind of skeptical but uh, let's see let's see how well Square Enix did for head articulation his head can go side to side the collar also moves independently so uh, you can't get a 360 I mean I guess if you Really forced it, you could, but uh, that's about as far to decide he's gonna, his, his head's gonna go. His head can go a good bit down, as well as a good bit up. And uh, contrary to what some people on YouTube have said, his bandana does in fact move to the side and do a full 360. So any blowing in the wind poses you have in mind it can do it. Now obviously it's not gonna go back like that because it's just on a simple peg but uh, any bending in the wind poses are possible. For torso articulation he has a point of articulation here and down there so he can twist to the side a good bit and to the other side. He can bend that far down and that far back. He can also lean side to side. Now on to arm articulation. Now this is where the figure has the least amount of articulation but at the same time it's forgivable because of the way his clothes are. Now the shoulder pad right here is independent of his arm. As you can see the arm moves like that and the shoulder pad moves on its own. Now the arms can only be brought out about that much because this is a hard piece. If, if it was a rubber piece then you could probably get it about right here but it's okay I like the fact that it's all solid throughout the arms can go about that far forward about that far back and they do swivel just a little bit the arm can swivel right here 360 degrees he has the ratcheting elbow joint so he gets a little bit more than a 90 degree bend and his hand can rotate 360 degrees and move on that ratcheting joint so while I wasn't expecting anything tremendous they, they did a pretty good job with the kind of clothing that Snake wears for leg articulation, his legs can be spread about that far apart. They can go about that far forward, that far back. The thighs do swivel side to side. The leg right here at the thigh can rotate 360 degrees. The knees are double jointed and they ratchet so you get a really nice click. 
So like Ben's about that far. Not bad. The ankles also ratchet. So up, down. They don't go down too far, but they do go up a good bit. They can turn side to side like that. Unfortunately, they do not bend like that. Unfortunately, I really do wish they did. They try to make up for it with this articulation right here, but uh, because it's just the front of the foot, as you can see, the back of the foot stays the same. So it, I don't know, just uh, why couldn't they have just made a hinge joint right there at the ankle. It just would have been so much better. But uh, overall, not bad. For accessories, Snake comes with a pair of fists. Pretty nice detail. Comes with a left hand to uh, support the guns that he comes with. And he comes with a right trigger finger hand to hold the guns that he comes with. Now as for the guns, he comes with his uh, SOCOM pistol. So, really nice. And it comes with his uh, suppressor. Right there. As you can see, it is, <laughs> for lack of a better word, bent. But uh, use some boiling water or a hair dryer, and it'll fix that right up. And the last accessory is his FAMAS machine gun. Pretty nicely detailed. Has a nice leather type strap to it that you can adjust to uh, certain lengths. Now the clip does not come out, unfortunately. But uh, it looks good in his arms. And here is a little size comparison of a Play Arts Kai Metal Gear Solid figure compared to a SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider figure. As you can see, Snake is a good bit bigger than Decayed. And uh, for the price, he should be bigger. Final thoughts. Square Enix did a pretty good job on Solid Snake. Now, as I said before, I was a little hesitant in getting into the Play Arts Kai figures because of uh, a, let's say, mediocre at best pass with uh, Play Arts. But uh, they've seemed to step up their game a good bit with the Play Arts Kai line. And uh, Solid Snake is a uh, good first purchase for someone who's wanting to get into the line. Um, he has great detail work done. The clothes look really good. Now, I wasn't expecting great articulation for his shoulders because of the the uh, the way his clothes are. But, uh, you know, it, while it doesn't blow my mind, they did a pretty good job with that. Now... Where I was expecting a lot more were his ankles. Um, now I know not all of Play Arts Kai uses this type of ankle joint, but I mean this is just terrible. You can only go forward and back; doesn't bend side to side. I mean, what is that? I don't, I don't get that at all. I don't understand why they use that. But um, overall, I, th I say this figure is worth the uh, asking price of fifty-five dollars plus shipping. Because it is a larger figure, and I've pl I've paid more than that for smaller figures, so uh, definitely one I recommend for Metal Gear Solid fans and fans of Solid Snake in general. So with that, I'll see you in the next review. Now I wonder what that could be.